Uh, this one's called Orb Media. Oh, that's yeah. One word. Uh, Orb has a couple different apps for Android out on the market, and it makes it a little bit confusing, but uh, I've used Orb Media and Orb Live, uh, which both weigh in at $10 uh, to purchase. Ooh. And they have some trial apps that will uh, work with your computer uh, in a very limited way. Uh, but essentially what Orb is, is it's a it's a program that sits on your computer and then uh, will transcode or stream things uh, right on the fly. Uh, so that if you, say, want to watch a video that you have downloaded or a podcast uh, downloaded on your computer uh, that was done automatically by the podcatcher on the computer, Orb you can then set to go out and uh, just stream that right from your computer to your phone. So and it uses the magic of... Orb's central server, uh, so you don't have to know your computer's IP address. And essentially, anything you log into, uh, which on your Android device, they might have something for iPhone. Um, and you can use the web interface on the Wii and I think on the PS3. Um, <clears throat> so they're pretty, uh, pretty wide, uh, pretty wide distribution. It's almost like a Sling Player yes. for your phone. But there's no there's no hardware there's no sling box right so a little bit more free uh-huh. and like on but you've got to have a good like if you're wanting to do video uh, especially if you're transcoding high def video down to your mobile device uh, you're gonna want a good computer uh, like mine is I've got a a quad core computer uh-huh. which can really crunch on that but it it still takes a little bit to start the high def video uh, oh yeah so you're better to go with just standard definition video to That's stream right. or whatever. Cool. So it won't stream it to yours in high def, but let me uh, let me pop open the application here. Uh, there's a couple uh, things that I can nitpick on about it, which is it's it's basically uh, a port from yeah. uh, what from iPhone. So there's not there's not much uh, different, but along the bottom here you have audio, video, photo, and settings. The thing that you're probably going to be doing most is just switching between audio and video. Uh, so the audio will uh, have like it, it breaks it down like how you would expect artists, albums, genres. You can browse through folders that you have set up on your computer to share, or just go to all songs. But like if you go to playlists, uh, it has these common ones: so recently added, or recently played, <clears throat> and the most played. Um, but if you go down to my playlists. Oh, it's an invalid session. It wants me to log back in, which is weird. That happens every now and then. So let me... Uh, I accidentally hit a, hit the wrong button. <laughs> what are you doing? What? You're playing, he's playing video games. I'm not playing video games. <laughs> games with the video. There we go. Um. So let me get back in here. I go into playlist and then my playlist. This will actually show you... Um, pl- the playlist from your computer. Oh, cool. So, like, if you have it in uh, iTunes or whatever, it shows you all your iTunes playlists. So, that's that's pretty handy. Uh, video is the same way. It, I guess the one cool thing about uh, uh, audio is that it does actually show the, uh, the cover art and everything right on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I can pull up, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, it looks up. it looks exactly like the iPhone one. <laughs> I'll pull up something more, uh, some Katy Perry or something. I don't know. Here's the iPhone version. It is exactly. <laughs> well, you <laughs> have document sure viewing too. And this is at this is the free version. And see, look, this is exactly like yours. I oh mean, yeah. This is the total uh animation and everything from the iPhone. <laughs> well, that's silly. So and that's from my wife's uh stock. That's sure not is. mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> not gonna claim it? Nope. <laughs> uh but like I use it I use it mostly for video. I don't really use it so much for the audio. Yeah. So Oh really? Yeah. Didn't put anything on here. Huh. Just stream it right over. It kind of reminds me of there used to be uh, Simplify Media yeah. for the phones, but that was bought by Google, wasn't it? Uh, I don't really know. Yeah. Seems like we covered that at some point in time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 
<laughs> Simplify Media. But it's like the 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 one that is around now. Now that Simplify Media is out. Yeah. And uh and Orb is cool because it lets you play in browsers and everything too for me. So it's more than just a phone app. It's kind of a whole universe. Uh this is just their Android app. And I I kinda refer to later uh the particulars of how they have their app set up. Uh they do have some on there that let you kind of test uh out the service, uh, but it only lets you play uh like if it's uh like what is it, three different items out of three different playlists. So and it's picked at random. So I don't know, it's not it's not that uh convenient, but at least it lets you see, you know, if you're going to be able to stream the stuff to your phone, what it looks like, the quality and everything, before you take the plunge of uh, $10. So, and again, even uh, aside from the app, it might be worth uh, signing up for it because I, I do enjoy uh, having all my media and stuff at my fingertips uh, no, matter, no matter where I am as long as I have a blou- uh, browser. Yeah, it's true. Simplify Media did buy, or Google did buy Simplify Media. Cool. So... And say I'll pull up one uh, here. Uh, this one's this is an episode of Thirty Rock. I could definitely see this integrated into Android at some point. Let's see one of the weird thing. It has a couple weird quirks on it. Uh, one of them being that it doesn't always fill up the entire screen. Uh-huh. So you've got to do some weird like double tapping and stuff, and it pushes it up to the top, and sometimes it cuts oh, out weird. video. Yeah. Now is this so, transcoding on the fly? Yeah. Okay. So, it, but once it's transcoded, it'll play better. Uh, well, it just has like a everything? yeah. It's it's not always the greatest. Um, uh-huh. if I can just be a hundred, you know, percent honest, I wouldn't really recommend it for um live action stuff. Uh. You won't get that good of quality. Um, but if you go to animation. Uh, then the the quality of the video is uh, is much better. Of course, we so. have to get one of these kind of episodes in here. And this, uh, and I don't know if this is what you're talking about. That it it takes a minute. Like it'll be kind of crummy at first. Yeah, yeah. And then it, as the video plays a little bit longer, it's got like a buffer built up. Yep. So. Oh yeah. That's but beautiful. Kind of puts the kind of puts the. Uh, with now, the accent, or I don't know, it puts more focus on uh, playing the video right now yeah. instead of playing it clear in, oh, a, yeah. in a minute or something. You know? So was that running off Wi-Fi or over the network? Uh, this was over the network. Oh, that's not bad. But I've run it on, I mean, uh, yeah, on your Wi-Fi network. Uh-huh. I mean, oh, it but was I, I run it over the phone network and stuff too. Cool. You know, it's just fine. You just have to have, you have to be in 3G. Ah, uh, yes. Like most things in life. Better went on 3G. There you go.